Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video. And in today's video, I want to talk about the brand new situation which we have with Phase Jarvis and a bunch of other news as well regarding the Fortnite community. So it's a very interesting video tonight. I know it's quite a late one, but I thought I'd put it out for you guys because it's something that's been on my mind. I just wanted to discuss it a little bit because if you guys have watched my channel for a long time, you'll know six years ago, I was actually banned from Xbox Live. And we'll go into that as well and talk a little bit about what it's like to be banned in that situation. This was nothing to do with Fortnite, obviously, Six years ago and nothing to do with anything it was a complete accidental ban and i'll just go into it and talk about it later on but let's start this video off if you guys are new around here and you want to hear all this information smash that subscribe you want to keep up to date with all the storyline map change content etc don't forget to watch this video right until the end guys it really helps me out I spent a lot of time thinking of all these ideas and writing down the script for this so make sure you're staying tuned and watching until the end also guys don't forget to smash a like on today's video if you guys aren't already liking this video i don't know what else is going to make you like this video but just please guys just smash that like let's try and get 3,000 likes on today's video and then comment your epic game name down below for a chance to get gifted a skin but also put in your constructive comment about the topic in today's video it really helps me out and it gives me something to read when i'm traveling from place to place so thank you everyone who comments down below all right guys so let's get into this and start with first being banned so phase jarvis if you guys don't don't know already has been suspended permanently from Fortnite Battle Royale on all his accounts which is very interesting to see and this is actually a serious reason why when I've looked into it further the reason he was banned was for using a aimbot which is completely against the Fortnite terms of service any hack glitch cheat in game that you're doing that's not part of the game already is basically an instant ban on fortnite on their website they say plugging in for example aimbot or any plugin that's external not created by epic games officially for fortnite is complete cheating and then they also go to talk a little bit about this it isn't from fortnite themselves but from other youtubers people have done glitches in the past for example going underneath the map accidentally and stuff like that or you're purposely getting into a glitch in game then maybe this could get you banned but it won't get you banned permanently them sort of in-game glitches I guess on a permanent suspension however plugging something into the game like aimbot is extremely bad and would highly not recommend it so face jarvis did go and do this now the thing that is going all around the community are the arguments that have happened to previous people who have been banned so for jank for example tfue was banned originally for buying an account with rare skins which again is against fortnite terms and conditions for those people that watch my videos that keep emailing me asking to advertise selling accounts please stop doing that the amount of people that ask me to do that is ridiculous any business emails down there i get so many every day with people saying pat can you do this can you give me a shout out here i sell these it's completely against the terms and conditions guys please stop selling fortnite accounts and also guys please do not buy fortnite accounts it's not right to do that so please avoid that 100 everyone wondering about that side of stuff okay so now that's over with let me talk a little bit further about what my opinion is on the tifu situation yes he was banned for a bit and he lost all his skins on that account which makes perfect sense but he was not banned permanently and that was against the terms of service so moving on a few months later we had the world cup situation where two players managed to qualify for the world cup cheating beforehand now the cheats they were using were the ability to actually drop someone in one of their friends and to eliminate them to gain points they weren't actually using any plugins or any hacks so they were suspended from competing in the world cup for about two weeks which makes sense and then they actually qualified again doing it legitly now i know a lot of people in the community did not like this and completely disagreed with it and i 100 percent agree with that as well but there is the side to it as well, thinking they did have a second chance and they earned that second chance from what I know. I may be wrong with that. They may have cheated for that second chance because I know in the World Cup reaction, it was really bad when the camera switched to them. A lot of people were booing and I agree with everyone that says that these people that cheat shouldn't even get that chance, but they did manage to get the second chance and did manage to get in and Epic Games clearly allowed that. So from their point of view, it was okay to cheat in that sense. They were only suspended 14 days, but I guess it's not okay at all. But in that sense there, it seemed like they said it was okay because they managed to qualify. So moving on to the situation now with FaZe Jarvis. This one is something very, very interesting because he's been permanently banned for using aimbots. Now I actually happened to stumble across the video one night. I clicked on it and I'm like, oh my, why is this guy using aimbot that's what i said to myself i was very tempted at comments and saying why are you using aimbot it's against terms of service something that i do every time i play fortnite i watch out from what i'm uploading i always make sure i don't leak something bad i don't do stuff like that i always check if i have to message someone at fortnite i'll try my best to and make sure this is okay and i always like to let someone else do the content first on the leaks because personally i don't agree with it i know it's not exactly against terms of service because we see it all the time but 
you know, leaking stuff, it's just, it's one of them. It's a bit iffy, especially when you start to get trailer leaks and stuff like that. So, for example, with the Chapter 2 trailer, when it got leaked, people were getting their videos taken down originally, and I, I knew it got leaked, and people were DMing at me and stuff, but I didn't want to make a video on it because it's not what Fortnite wanted. Until I got the okay, then I went ahead and made a video on it after I messaged a few people who have already done it and then I saw you know this was okay from Fortnite and then they managed to go and do it so you've got to be careful with what you're uploading what face Jarvis did personally I believe was really wrong and it was against the Fortnite terms but from a creator's point of view I feel bad for him and I know a lot of other people do as well I've seen Ali A's video on it and I've seen Happy Powers video on it and I've seen other people's videos on it as well given their opinion on it and a lot of people feel bad for Jarvis but they also feel truthful and trusty of Fortnite, and I am on Fortnite's side for this one. I do believe FaZe Jarvis should have been banned for using aimbot. He's ruining other players' experiences. I watched the video myself. He was playing on the Storm game mode, where the Storm shrinks, I've forgotten the name of it, and he was absolutely trashing players using an aimbot, and it does ruin your experience. When you're playing against someone who is using hacks, it will ruin your experience, and I agree, Fortnite have banned him for that reason. The permanent ban, however, is a little bit debatable. So as Ali A mentioned in his video, FaZe Jarvis, Ali A, they use Fortnite as their job. Fortnite for them is their main thing. And it makes sense that he is gutted for Jarvis. I know he knows him personally. And I agree as well in that sense, you know, taking something away that instantly with no warning is quite big. However, you do actually agree to the terms of service when you sign up to Fortnite. So that is very, very interesting to see that FaZe Jarvis has been banned with no warning. However, it does make sense why, because he has agreed to the terms of service. Now, in the past, we have seen people doing aimbot stuff and they instantly get banned. I've seen it in, for example, a few different like, gamers and players. You see them doing aimbots who aren't official YouTubers, but you see the videos on them and they're instantly banned, which makes perfect sense. We already know, I think, almost the whole community knows that if you cheat, you get banned. So I don't know what made FaZe Jarvis do this. Could you blame phase for this because they've not like been monitoring their creators enough or is it phase Jarvis's fault and when it comes to content creators I know content creators like to come up with original ideas and phase Jarvis probably thought oh, wow this is a really cool idea which at the time for him he may have thought that even though myself and many other creators probably already know that this is very bad you do not use plugins in your game you do not cheat you do not hack it's against Fortnite rules I personally would never ever do that and I know many other creators and players and fans of my channel would never ever dream of doing that because you won't want to lose your account you've got all your skins the amount of time i've played on my Fortnite account i absolutely love the game i'd never consider cheating like that so i don't know why phase jarvis decided to do that but he did and it didn't go well for him so i do feel sorry for him in that sense because he doesn't deserve everything to be taken away from him however it does make sense and i do agree with epic games decision on this so i'm basically 50 50 i don't really know what's going on i wouldn't be able to if i was making the decision i'd struggle to make the decision but obviously epic have so you just have to agree with i guess what epic have made on this because it gives and sets an example for everyone out there and it's that's what i like about it now on to the topic which you guys might be interested in it's about me per permanently being banned in the past so this was six years ago now and i was actually suspended from xbox live i'll link the original video down below for you guys you can actually hear my my <laughs> hear my old commentary it's actually really funny because i was a lot younger back then and the reason i actually got suspended was for unluckily getting into a call of duty 4 lobby now this question is asked so many times on stream and so many times in the comment section but the reason my original account was actually suspended was that because I got into a COD4 lobby which had hacks in it. Now I didn't intend to get into that lobby which was the really annoying side to it and I was in on Modern Warfare, it was the original Modern Warfare on the Xbox 360 and I actually got permanently banned for getting de-ranked. Now that's what I believe was the reason why I got banned. Unfortunately Microsoft at Xbox never exactly provided a reason why I got banned. I tried contacting the support, it was just robot responses saying that it was something to do with some sort of prestige hacking type thing, which I only can assume was when I got deranked from a hack lobby on COD4. Other than that, I've never ever done that, so it was a very interesting one and it was a complete accidental ban. The only way I actually got suspended, and this happened to another YouTuber called I Blissed It Squid, he never actually publicly announced this and also happened to Syndicate as well, he did publicly announce it. The reason them two got banned is because they got too many reports on Xbox 360. Now the old Xbox 360 system, I don't know why I'm talking about this now because it's not relevant, but the old Xbox 360 system 
was actually a very strict system which would all run through bots so if you got too many file complaints you would no longer be able to access your microsoft account or well, xbox account not microsoft account. i still can access the microsoft side of it just the xbox side uh, but yes so that's what me happened with iBlistic squid he unfortunately had to change his name if you go back onto iBlistic squid's videos for the minecraft fans out there you'll know who he is he used to play with stampy his name iBlistic squid on xbox was gone it's a banned account it's no longer available it's completely suspended this also happened Happened to Syndicate. However, Syndicate luckily got his account back because he was actually invited to Microsoft to sort this out. So, luckily enough, he was actually able to get his account back. Whereas I know Iblisted Squid, from what I know, was no longer able to get his account back. So, I've seen this all the way through and out that era there of the Minecraft era accounts getting suspended. I know it's not relevant to really today. But it's something which I get asked all the time, and I guess it's kind of cool to bring it up because Space Jarvis has been suspended. I got suspended six years ago. I know the exact feeling. At that time, I think I lost about £500 worth of DLC, skin packs, and all this stuff on my account, and there was nothing I can do. Now, Phase Jarvis does have the power to be able to at least attempt to get his account back, and also he's already a creator. At this time, I was nobody, and for anyone out there watching, you don't want to get your account banned, when obviously an accidental ban is what happened to me, whereas Phase Jarvis is, was not accidental. So, to me, I was absolutely gutted, and still am to this day, when I remember when I woke up that morning and went on to play on the brand new, like it was like a Call of Duty DLC or something, I was no longer able to play it, and I was very, very sad. So I feel for Phase Jarvis, I know he's a huge creator, however, and back then, obviously, I wasn't really a huge creator. I think I had like about 400 subscribers, but I still was very upset and very lonely in that situation. I know exactly how he'll be feeling. Anyone that's been banned in the past for an accidental ban, you'll know. Even if you've been banned from doing something serious, then obviously you can reflect on your actions. But from FaZe Jarvis's point of view, it's not accidental, but from his reaction, it does kind of seem it. So I kind of give him a little bit of sympathy there. But I don't know what my opinion on this, on this exactly. So I thought I'd just talk about it today because I saw Ali A made a video on it and I saw a few other people. And it's something that's been on my mind. And obviously, you guys probably wanted to know about me when I actually got suspended. So there's everything for today's video. I hope you guys really have enjoyed. I hope it has given you an insight to my channel, some past history. If you want to see the original video, it is linked down below. It's actually got some uh, Linkin Park music in accidentally because obviously I was a lot younger then. I didn't really know what I was doing. Ripped to Linkin Park, by the way. So respects there go out there as well so thank you everyone who has watched today's video and enjoyed the entire video also much love and respect to everyone who has made it to this very end of the video comment down below end if you've made it right to the end and thank you so much everyone who has much love and respect i hope you guys have enjoyed and once again this is postbox pat signing out